and, and that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord our God. Wisdom of ten, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto you all. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark the Evangelist. Let us attend. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint Jesus. And very early in the morning on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb at the rising of the sun. And they were saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the door of the tomb. And looking up, they saw that the stone was rolled back. It was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a long white robe, and they were amazed. And he said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. And they went out quickly and fled from the tomb, for trembling and astonishment had come upon them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. life-giving and undivided trinity, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, let them that hate him flee from before his face. <laughs> As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, as wax melts before the fire. <laughs> 
بواب الحياة للذين في القبور. So let sinners perish in the presence of God and let the righteous rejoice. This is the day which the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad therein. Christ is risen from the dead, trembling on the by death, and to those in the tomb, he restored In peace let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. For our Metropolitan Joseph, our Bishop Alexander, the Venerable Priest of the Diaconate in Christ, all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For Her Majesty the Queen, the Prime Minister of Canada, and all civil authorities and armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and every city and land and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, land, and air, the sick and the suffering, captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. <laughs> Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and that the King of glory shall enter in. The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in war. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the King of glory shall enter in. The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in war. Lift up your gates, O ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates. And the King of Glory shall enter in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord of Hosts. He is the King of Glory.
Salito Sanesti. Truly he is risen. Il est vraiment ressuscité. Hakran Kav. Salito Sanesti. Truly he is risen. Salito Sanesti.